Hey guys, Ash here from C4 Retech and welcome to, well, an episode of Ash Talks. And today let's talk about my experience with Sony's amazingly beautiful customer service. Uh, I don't like shooting this kind of video. I really don't. If you've seen my channel, we've got 1300 videos so far and I'd have done like one or two of these in all this time because yes, I've got a lot of followers, but I don't like using that to, for my personal service issues and whatnot. So I'm going to go ahead and explain what's been happening for the last three, three and a half weeks. Uh, this is my, this is not really my camera, but this is an FS7. This is the camera that we've been shooting on for almost for many months now. Uh, I bought it sometime last year and recently uh, we had some issues with autofocus on this camera. This is what ha happens. We generally shoot all our regular footage, uh, the B-rolls with the focus pulls and all on manual focus. And this part that you've seen so many times of me showing what's happening on a phone, this is what I shoot on autofocus. Over here, the focus kept getting lost. This has happened multiple times. You guys have pointed it out in the comments uh, in, the, in the last month or so it's been happening. So uh, early this month, the first few days of the month, we went to a Sony service center in Chennai, uh, took the camera without the lens, uh, without a memory card and stuff, took just the camera uh, to get them to service it. We waited there for about an hour uh, before they attended to us, wherein they said, go get your lens. So again, drove back, picked up the lens, went back and they said, get your memory card. So again, drove back, got the memory card, went back to the service center. They checked and said, you know what? We guess everything's fine. Again, insisted, no, there's an issue with the camera. Please check it out. They took it in again, kept it for about five, six days and gave it back saying they have serviced it. So no surprises, the camera came back and we still had the same issue. Uh, after which, so this was about a week, week and a half, after which we managed to talk a service technician into coming over to our place with another FS7 side by side to show him that the issue exists. And we got footage from both cameras and we showed them instantly. It's not the lens, We've tried, we showed it with like their own lens that it works. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, on my camera with their lens, uh, we still had the issue. It just wouldn't hold on to focus. So once this happened, okay, yeah, it's recording, sorry. So once this happened, uh, they agreed to take it back uh, and service it. So it was sent to Delhi for service. And at this point I thought, okay, fine. Let me actually talk to somebody in Sony. Since Sony corporate communication people have actually come and met me in the office. Till then I just wanted to see how they handle service. So about seven, eight days in, I decided to talk to Sony corporate communications. I just kept them notified on what was happening. Uh, and then about a week went, those I mean about four days. Sorry, they never came and picked it up. I'm sorry, they were supposed to pick it up. They never came in and picked it up for about a week. So at this point, I decided to contact Sony. Some people from corporate communications have met me in the past, so I decided to contact them. And then they organized someone to come and uh, check the camera out once again. So yet another technician comes in. I again said, spend an hour with the guy, show him what was wrong with the camera. And he says, yeah, there's something uh, finicky with the focus. So let's actually send it to Delhi. So I tell the guy, I'm totally fine. You know, if I don't want a standby unit or anything, uh, if you can get my camera serviced and back to me in a week, that's totally fine. If it's gonna take over a week, just give me a standby uh, unit. So I feel that's only fair given that I paid around eight lakhs for the camera, the lens, the whole setup, that is how much I paid. So expecting a standby when the issue is lasting for over a week, cool. So uh, this, my camera was shipped to Delhi and then I call those people up, you know, people in Sony about four days later and they say that there is no issue with my camera. Again, just cutting to the issue of focus, of it not locking focus. And they claimed there was no issue with the camera and they were just about to send it back. They didn't give me a call. They didn't check with me. No confirmation. They were just about to ship the camera back without resolving the issue. So again, once again, 
I did give the service technician the footage and everything just you know for proof just to help their service guys identify the, the guys in Delhi identify uh, what was wrong with my camera but I again send the uh, uh, footage to uh, my contacts at Sony after which they say okay fine let's talk I still I, I still don't know if they know there is an issue or not I'm still waiting to hear back from them in that time I pushed to get a, a standby unit so for the last three days they've been telling me the standby unit is arriving so for the last three days right from 10 a.m in the morning we've been calling our contact in Chennai who keeps asking us to call back in an hour or rather promising a call back in an hour the call back never comes and we call them back every hour for the last three days three days we couldn't really go out anywhere because we were supposed to be getting the standby unit every hour so finally I get the standby unit today morning 6 a.m. we were supposed to shoot Ash answers me and Sundar came in by 6 we set everything up uh, and before shooting I figured out this standby unit has an issue with audio it just does not record any audio the XLR inputs don't work the internal microphone doesn't work even if I were to do this setup where I'm recording onto my Zoom H6 I can't sync the audio automatically because I can't record any scratch audio I thought maybe I messed up somewhere so I spent around three hours you know going through the manuals again just to make sure it was an issue an issue from my end you know uh, resetting the camera reflashing the firmware So it has now been almost three and a half weeks and this is the service that I am getting. Me as in someone who spent on an expensive Sony product is getting in India. So guys, like I said at the start of this video, I didn't really want to shoot this. So I kind of shut the video, I didn't upload it. This was shot by the t-shirt, you can say it was shot before our chances on Saturday morning. Uh, I was promised a call back by Monday. I didn't get the call back. And when I messaged them, they said, okay, fine, Tuesday, we'd get on a con call and whatnot. That didn't happen. On Tuesday, when I asked them again, they didn't answer and finally texted me back saying, I would, somebody would get on a call with me today. And that hasn't happened. And now when I try calling them, the calls are not getting picked up. People up at Sony, like corporate communication, people aren't picking up calls or making up excuses. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow, every single time. And that's all that's happening. If you want to help, just share this video. I have a tweet pinned on my profile. Uh, it's been retweeted about 400 times and we still haven't got any. Uh, I haven't even gotten a call back on this. Uh, addressing the issue we are still talking about Sony not identifying the issue we're not talking about delay times I really don't care if they like I said if it's gonna take a while so if you want to help share the video or at least uh, retweet the pin tweet so thank you